Good morning, David here, weekly week look. Today, Friday, 4th of March, pre-market open, video timed at 6.08 a.m. in the morning, looking at May 2015 UK week chart. And as usual, we're starting uh, with the monthly chart. I just look here, and you can see here, I'll move the front here, that we've taken out this uh, swing low here of 106.23. This is last September. Uh, we closed last month below it. Um, on this chart, our monthly target would be down here at 95, starting from the first uh, candle of this monthly candle, and we closed last night 102.50 on the monthly. Pop down the weekly, and you can see here last week we were waiting for this uh, candle to form here, this red candle here, take out its swing low. Obviously, that uh, gave us the opening for this fall of this week. And we touched a low of hundred pound and seventy pence. Um, just pop down into the daily, and you can see here price action's been pretty one way this week. Um, obviously, we've gone from one hundred six thirty nine down to one hundred one fifty five, and that's been fairly constant all this week. Falls obviously last week we were seeing these two red candles below the swing low here. Um, obviously last night we saw a green candle which you would expect um, at an important level 101.55 and below that I have 98 and then 95 takes us down to this long term monthly monthly move here above that obviously 109.78 106.39 so let's put some action on and see where we're going to happen we can find out what's going to keys for next week this is we're looking at the four hour Obviously, this was my arrow from last week's where I thought price would go. Obviously, with this big red candle here, we more or less hit it. Uh, well, we have hit it straight away. Um, obviously, 101.55. Uh, we've come down um, yesterday, day, day before, and we tested below it. A red candle here. Obviously, now we've flown up above it, which we'd expect on a major level. Um, we've got a gap up here left at... 10360 um, may see a run up to, to test that um, this is sort of a you know looks that you know we could go back up here to test 360 had this consolidation here when we're breaking through this 50 percent level here at 397 could be a possibility to go up there but obviously if we uh, break down below this level again, uh, and then obviously we're looking down at a hundred pound a ton, so uh, obviously you know that that hundred pound, and then obviously if that doesn't hold, we're back down here to ninety eight. Um, but at the moment, I think possibly um, more likely uh, for the short term bounce, which we've got a little bit oversold, go back up to have, look at this gap fill here, and then probably have another go. That's breaking through the 101.55 down to the 100 pound. Um, I just check on the uh, on the moving averages. Yeah, all pointing down at the present moment. Uh, we we've, we've got this green candle sh short here. Volume was light. Um, nothing to indicate there. Obviously, you can see on the R long term RSI here we're, we're heavily oversold, uh, which you would expect at the moment. But all moving averages are still pointing down. Um, so obviously that's what I look for next week. Um, trend is still down. Obviously, you know, a, a test of this this one hundred one fifty five um, level seem to be coming fairly accurate at the present moment. So, um, and we'll keep an eye on it and put an update this time next week. Thanks.